I think this is this is perfect. Okay, this is this is good, right? Uh, okay, so yeah, my name is Divyan Shunegi, and I'm a software engineer. I left my job last year, so I created this video on Monday about my day, how Monday is the most productive day, and how I go ahead in my days. Then Wednesday morning was a routine day. Uh, I went to my desk. As soon as I went to my desk, I saw a couple of messages waiting for me on Slack from my team, and then the messages kept coming on, kept coming on. There was this major issue which we were facing. There was this render issue which was happening, and I thought I have fixed it on Tuesday. I pushed some changes, but uh, I, the messages were keep on coming in production. Some issue have. arrived and all the message all the videos which we are rendering have are jittery and uh, i was i was about to go to the gym i was preparing for that i hadn't had my coffee as well so i thought i was a bit panicked i went to the to the kitchen i prepared my first cup of coffee while making it i was thinking what went wrong what did we do what did i push that still has this issue because locally it was working fine yesterday i came to my desk i sat for a while i was looking at the computer i was looking all the messages i couldn't find uh, what was happening i drank not just one two coffee then three coffee then four then five i just kept drinking so many coffees okay so then i thought what could be wrong and after drinking so many coffees it hit me okay let's try this that was the idea one okay so here was the idea what if i use a local state from react and hooks each time a frame changes the hook get triggered i will trigger the function known as set computer transform origin value which will take a function that would give the transform values based on the changed frame internally that function would run a loop on all the zoom events find the exact time where the transform need to start from and run a loop in all the mouse track event list the problem is we don't have the previous position of the transform that is the jitter right there moving it always to the position 0 0 when it cannot have the previous position so always jumping from 0 to the new position to fix this i will have the set state to keep record of all the previous states and give me the exact previous location So I can do a to and from in the properties. Yes, this is it. This would work. Again, I clicked on the start export button. It started rendering. There was something was happening. Hundred percent. I had the download link. I clicked on download. I downloaded the video. But the fucking jitter. It was still there. I don't know what's happening. I was clueless. I was so shocked on like. It's already 1 p.m. I'm sitting on my desk from 8 a.m. in the morning. It's 1 p.m. I've been sitting here for five hours, been working on this idea and nothing. It was all for nothing. I thought, okay, I'm feeling hungry. Let's go get some lunch. I went to the kitchen. I took my lunch. It was really very really good food. I was so hungry. I didn't had anything in since morning. I didn't took my breakfast. I didn't do anything. Whenever I'm like. too much uh, stressed i generally drink butter milk and as soon as i was sipping it the idea to hit me and here it was okay so i can do another thing instead of keeping a state locally which is messing up in rendering because while rendering remotion is triggering multiple concurrent react apps so if we have 100 lambdas trying to render the app there would be so many moments in the frame rendering where it would have no idea about the previous state as it's a fresh new app so i need to make the get transform function only rely on the frame the animation should be a function of frame for that i need to clean all the local states and pass just frame and calculate the from and to based on the frame's position not too hard i'll just pass the frame and check in the mouse track events json where is the closest json object pick it and the previous one would just be the event before that easy let's try this now i went to my desk i quickly started to code everything i thought i got it i got it this has to be it I started coding everything. I again tested locally. Everything is working fine. I clicked on the start export button. Fingers crossed. The progress bar is running. Rendering complete. The download link is with us. I clicked on download. I waited for the download to complete. The download was completed. I clicked on the video. Again, jitter. What's happening? It's already 5:30 in the evening.
as I was walking around the beach looking it was a very beautiful sunset happening the colors were very vibrant I was just watching the waves and it hit me the visuals it hit me the visuals why like all this time I was not focusing on visuals how the mouse moves across the screen I'm just looking at an array of JSON objects I'm not looking how it looks visually so I don't know what's happening so I came home and this was the idea number three the idea three hit me and I quickly came home hmm okay so let's try to visualize but how let's try a sample HTML file to see how these JSON files first correspond in the screen I need to see them okay so I have these 20,000 positions which are tracked by the mouse the jitter now is happening because at each such position mouse is trying to animate to another position the animation is breaking due to so many sudden movements triggered in a short span of time one idea is to smooth these events so maybe I should write an algorithm which takes this array of 20,000 elements and breaks them into 100 or so movements for a smooth path but how let's try asking Claude AI okay so Claude AI write a function to smooth an array of JSON which contains XY coordinates in a screen okay so here I have the function with this function I have now this 20,000 elements broken into 78 core events let's try to render this last time I started coding it out and I knew this was it this was it I have got something in my hand this time I was looking at the code editor I removed everything from that function and I started typing this happened for almost one hour I wrote everything and it was time to check the output the same thing I clicked on the download button I clicked on the start export I waited for the rendering the download link with was with me I clicked on the download link the, the video was downloaded and here it was the magical smooth motions of my mouse scrolling gliding the window in the app and that was it that was it it I saw the time in my watch it was 10 30 p.m. I have been sitting in this chair for almost 8 in the morning it's 14 hours I've been sitting here debugging this issue it was not as perfect as the team wanted but it was as perfect as I wanted it to be because I knew if I have this I can make it perfect after this the jitters are gone I know what's happening that was a, one of the best sleep I had that night the dopamine I got after all these efforts was amazing and I slept like a baby that night and I just wanted to make this video this a special video about this particular issue which I saw it because this is one of the highlights of the whole week I wanted to make this highlight into a video which is worth sharing if you remember on Monday I put a sticky note right there which said fix remotion rendering issue and I'm happy to say I'm okay to remove it now thank you so much for watching this video I tried something different in this one I was hoping to make it as a documentary style video where I share uh, the story of how I solved this bug I hope you liked it uh, I would love to know a few comments if you can give me again thank you so much for listening or watching this video I'll be seeing you in the next one very soon